All right, welcome back. Uh, if you're just joining us, yes, you're right on time. We have uh, a special guest here with us, uh, someone who have uh, grown to know <laughs> at a different level. Uncle Lebuka. Hey, Zuloyenze. Sir. White money, happy new year. Same to you, sir. Good How are you doing? I know. Know, Where did you find the time to be here? Because you're all over the place yes, making yes. plenty of money. Oh, this is the work of God. <laughs> How's life been? How's life been since uh, October 3rd? Is that 2021? I don't know when we come off our house. Oh, is it? Say, I can't remember now. I, I know it's yeah. just three months plus. It's been amazing. The journey has been a beautiful one. And uh, fame, fame has hit me and hit me hard. And uh, I'm glad I'm responding to it very, very well. Yeah. So it's been an amazing journey. I really appreciate uh, people and God Almighty. When you say it has hit you hard, what do you mean? Yes, it hit me hard in the sense that I never knew I was this popular. I never knew that I would get to this place in a short time. You know, I, I, I know I follow the show. I know that, yes, the show makes you famous. But I never knew it would make you this famous. Like, it's, it, I, like my fan base is it's a different thing. Chinese people are telling me, we like your white money, <laughs> you know, Pakistan, Indians. So it really, it hit me hard, you understand? And I, I, I'm glad that I'm adjusting. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, I mean, like you said, you've always wanted to be on the show. You, had, you like you even said in the house, you had auditioned a few times before yeah. coming on. Yeah. So what did you want out of the show when you were going in, when you finally got it, when you kept auditioning? You know, what did you want to get out of the show? And what have you gotten out of it now? Are they different? Ah, what I wanted was a bigger platform to showcase my God-given talents, which my talent has no boundaries. There's music, there's acting, there's comedy, there's everything. So there's a whole lot of entertaining things that I do, that I can even do. But it needed a bigger platform to showcase that because if you have to start that from ground and everything, you know, before you act like 10 movies, first start getting your small, small fans, before I start about people will shoot you, shoot you, shoot you, shoot you, but you know, the process, I say, ah, oh God, this is the only show that can give me that thing, boy. So I kept on for four years and um, God, God saw me through. And yeah. Instant that. But there's also people who believe that, you know, that's the easy route to take. You oh. know, I mean, you, are you even a real celebrity? <laughs> if you just went on this show, like you hey. said, it just happened like that. Let them go on audition. Do you get comments like that? And what do you respond? I mean, how do you feel about that? Because it's like an overnight success. Yes, for people. And people who don't, there are people who will probably just feel like you didn't earn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I won't blame them. They did not audition. Yeah, because um, if what they see is three months of glamour. But what goes on is like five months of what? See, the audition is tough now. If, how many people can go through the what process? It's not everybody. Lockdown, all those. You can't. Plenty of people break down psychologically. And before the Big Brother, I've already started making moves already. You understand? It's just that you, you know the society we're in. You, you need to, you, your, your game is to be like an A game. There's no sponsor, nothing. So you have to literally be doing, using your money to promote yourself and all those things. So the platform came and it's for free. Yeah. You understand? Even those that I even criticize, if they had a means, they would have been there. They would love to be there. They get me. So it's not an overnight success because I worked for it. I mean, every day giving tax, every day showing my lifestyle to the whole world, for people to see my flaws and see my good side. It's not, it's not easy. They leave people, they see how you think they do, right? they brush, your stretch mark, everything, they visible. <laughs> I'm, I sacrificed for it. You know, and uh, it came, and I'm very grateful that it came because I deserve it. Yeah. Yes. You look back at the house now and the journey and, you know, I don't know if you've seen any of the clips. Are there things you've seen and wondered, what was I thinking here? You know, <laughs> what was this thing I was doing? You know, maybe not necessarily regret, yeah. but things you just look and wonder. Yeah. Uh, there was one I said, <laughs> there, was, there was one that I said, um, um, I saw where I was in the kitchen, only me, I think I was talking to myself. And I said, hi, I, I was doing my crack in my way, say, oh, I need the alignment and balance. <laughs> I said, ah, but Dr. Zion, no day. <laughs> you guys said, whoa, is that saying that? And I said that there. And, um, and the one, I, the one I, that always makes me laugh, the one I sat on the floor, scraping the pot, I said, how did I get there? I did, and, you know, it, it, it keeps getting me whenever I play on my videos. I'm like, did I at least sit on the floor to scrape the pot? But that's who I am. Yeah. Yes, yeah that's who I am. You say that's who you are, but I know one of the biggest criticisms you got, yeah. and I'm yeah. sure you've heard that a lot, was the fact that you were not yourself in the house. Sorry. There are people who, even till today, believe that you went in there, you had watched this show for years, you know, you had a plan of how you were going to execute 
you know, you stay in this house. You know, you were going to be the guy who was the people's person. Yeah. You threw jokes around. You, you know, you were funny at certain points. You necessarily didn't want to fight with anybody just to coast through. Mm. And of course, the cooking, which continues to be a talking <laughs> point. I know you've said a lot of times that, yeah. you know, that's who you are. But why do you think that sort of observation doesn't go away? Yeah, it doesn't go away because it's not easy for people who live a normal life to live like that. In the society we live, morals are very hard to come by. So it's very hard to find a young man in his 30s that has so much morals. I was raised right. If there's anything I, was, I get perfectly was the fact that I was raised right. So the only thing I know how to do is what I did. Cook, clean, care for people. Look at them. That's what I know how to do and that's what I continue doing. So I came into the house, I saw the place that my strengths can be strong. I capitalized on it. I didn't even know it was even helping me outside the house. I thought I was just being me. And yes, I was being me. And then when I saw that, okay, this thing is uh, it's something that uh, I know how to do well, the cooking, and the, I stuck to it because that is my own point. I can't craft script like Likoros. I cannot rehearse poem like Sasuke. I cannot act like Pere. It's, uh, my own brain it has its own limit. So the one where I sabi, I can quantify my girl's thought without even testing it. And it will come out nice. So I capitalized on it. That was my strength. But never knew it was working for me outside the house. So when last did you cook? Uh, that was in Ghana. Do you still cook every day? No, I don't cook every day. Come on. We don't play to be that less busy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll we patronize our vendors. You know, we'll patronize them. We'll, call, eh? we'll take a break now and come back and, of course, talk some more with White Money, of course, to find out what's next for you in yeah. 2022. Please don't go away. <laughs> All right, welcome back. I'm here with White Money winner, Big Brother Niger, season six. Um, before the break, we we're talking about, you know, your stay in the house and all of yeah. that. How are you and the housemates? How are things with all of you? Oh, with all of us. Who do you see the most? Uh, for the past two days, I've seen Angel the most because we travel together. Okay. <laughs> we were together in the Bios, Port Harcourt, and back to Lagos. In fact, I mean, we, we, we drove back to the island together. So, but... I've seen Cross as well, Cross and Pere, because we have a business deal together. Oh, and, uh, money making. And yeah, and me and Cross, we're even putting a song together. Like, yeah, me and Cross, putting a song together. And um, but it's we see when we need to see. Yeah. Because my prayer is not that we should be seen every day. My prayer is that we should get busy and make money, capitalize on our fame. Yeah. You understand? That's my prayer, that when we see, let it be business connect. You know, then once in a while we can have a gathering. Who do you see the least? Oh, Beatrice, Princess, Irene. <laughs> ah, Peace. I've not even seen Peace. Piridim. I've not seen her in a very long time. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, Rins. I've why, seen... why haven't you seen them? There's no opportunity now for me to see them. I'm always on the move. I do road too far. And you cannot be say, ah, come on, come travel with me. No, no. I say, I'm always on the move. On the move. The day first day, we had uh, my Ojole back home coming formally. I went back to the streets, like I said. Did all I said I would do, like I said. So Joe Leba, Yaba, Tejo Show. Yesterday, Bayosa. Yesterday, that's a message they put out called. Today, Lagos. How I want this? It's not possible. So, but communication with the WhatsApp group, and nobody have visited to go be the same. <laughs> Yet. Yet. <laughs> Maybe after you do your thing, people will go. <laughs> so who have you gotten close to now, after the show, that surprises you the most? Maybe there's someone in the house you didn't think you'd be as close to, and outside the house now you're very cool with. Of course, it's my man, Pere. Okay. We, we, you guys we, are very cool now. Video call once he pick. Even if he's on set, he picks the call. Yeah. You understand? It's and Pere. you guys have been doing business together. Of course. We are signed to the same. We signed that we have a deal together. And, well, the brand signed me, him, and Cross. So we did an advert together and everything. So, of course... Like, I told him that when we come out of the house, we'll be good, we'll be cool. I told yeah. him, and that is what's happening. We're yeah. very, very cool. How's Queen? Queen is fine. No, I never see Queen in a long time. Since when? I said, I think. Why? <laughs> she blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, she blocked me. I don't know. <laughs> I never see her. I've not seen Queen in a very long time. Bro. I promise you, bro. I said. <laughs> what, did you, what did you do? <laughs> I said, I never know. I think it was, it was a mistake that she didn't know. I think she, she mistakenly was, blocked you. Yeah, like she didn't. Is that what she said? She, no, that's so, what. I mean, that, if you've not seen her, how do you know it's a mistake? Okay, because this is it. Because uh, I think a friend or something told me something like that. This is it. I was about to board a flight. She dropped a message. 
and the message was at that, that particular line, I took off my profile picture. You know, when you block someone, you won't see the picture. I took off my profile picture that day. We spoke a day, it was a coincidence. We spoke a day before. And then I think someone from my fan base, he had issues with someone from my fan base. The person was really, they were tackling themselves there about. So I think she was trying to call me to bring, to call that person to, to order. order. So while she was trying to do that, I wasn't picking because I was, um, uh, I was, I think I was airborne. You understand? I was trying to be airborne and I, I was driving myself. So while I boarded the plane, I already took off my private picture from that phone because my private line. And then I, I and then her message dropped. When her message dropped, it put one tick. And I was already airborne. So Queen thought I blocked that I blocked that. Really. When did this happen? I don't know. But that's still, I swear. Like November, yes. December? Yes, November, December. So she thought I blocked so her. So since then, have you reached out? Has she reached out? Nobody? We never see. <coughs> No, but me, I know, see, we go there like last, last. Because we, I, it, when, I, when I explain to her friend, see what happened. Yeah, I didn't want to say, hey, that she thought I blocked her. She now blocked me everywhere. I said, oh, no, no, no. That phone is blocked. It, Maybe destiny. It's a very funny oh, story. It's a very funny story. As in, things so making me laugh. I said, ah, she just blocked me. I said, you didn't even call. The, she has my second line. She didn't call that second line. She has my And before name. that, you guys had talked. I said, we just finished speaking. Quit, no, quit, we don't dash me money. No, we don't come on. Quit, don't dash me money. Come on. I said, this is someone that just, don't touch me, but, uh, because we get one better. We are both in Lagos. How come you've not seen each other since? I November? don't know. And I, and I depend on that. We, go, did the same, we did the same river, but we did the swim the same direction. Yeah. So we always, inter, you know, but I know that one day we'll settle this thing. Yes, but it's just blocking. You know, <laughs> nah, nah, they begin nah, for life. Nah, no, yeah, my person. <laughs> That's very interesting. Okay. <laughs> but how's your love life changed, though, since the house? I mean... <laughs> Are they, is the attention different? Are you searching? Is it? Hey, did you like go back it. to an ex? I What's like going on? I love life. <laughs> I have love money. <laughs> and they tell you, yes, women in the attention, yeah, you know, here and there. I know I'm still very, 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 very single. Searching. Searching is only for Google, <laughs> not for people in my current status, you understand? Because uh, I, so it's, it's not, not something you're thinking about. For now, no. For now, no. I have to capitalize on every opportunity that I get because um, it, it takes a strong woman to be with someone like me. You can't just say because I'm famous and everything, you know. Um, I need a very strong woman. Yeah. Because I know that the, the position I am, the position I am now, you cannot be, you cannot be petty. You can't be petty. Yeah. You understand? So I don't have that time to start investigating for that kind of woman, not now. And I don't pray to have the time now. <laughs> that is the prayer point. I need to make money. Fair enough. Well, yes. let's, talk, let's talk music now. I mean, you dropped Selense mm. uh, at the end of last year. Congratulations. Yes. Fourth of December. Um, your first single. Yes. How, are you happy with the response? Are you happy with you know, uh -huh. how it's doing? A fellow of my colleagues dropped their song the same day. I'm hitting close to one million views on YouTube now. And across all platforms, I don't even know it is plenty across all platforms. People from all over the world mime that song and everything. And when I walk into a place, it says Selense Krona. And the big part of Selense is that it has a remix that's dropping 18th of February by the grace of God. Oh. And that remix is with the biggest female artist from... Ay! I won't announce that one, but it is not a Nigerian. She's not a Nigerian. Oh, really? South African country, one of the South African regions, you understand? So we did a remix and it's very, very amazing. We're shooting the video. I'm dropping 18th of February. And um, that is that for that. And I've had a lot of calls for futures, but the timing, like, I've not been opportune to see it. So before June, I should drop an EP. Okay, I was going to ask, when, do you, when are you going to ah, drop a body June, of work? June, June, my, it's that, it's that it drops the same day of my birthday, which is June 6th. Uh, when I turn 31, then I drop that EP that same okay, day. How many ago. songs are we looking at? That EP can be an album because a lot of songs I want to put there. There are a lot of things I want to say. Yeah, you know, it could, it could be an album. You know said Music-wise, it's been fine for me. Like, I go to shows. The same I went to a lot of shows. Yeah. A lot of shows. A lot. A lot of free shows. <laughs> yes. So, why we didn't... Why, why, why... I don't know as much as trying to chase, chase the music and, you know, yeah. go to shows. You also have to keep making money because, you see, uh, the life that I find myself in now, every day is spending day. You know, you have to make money every day. If yeah. not, you go... 
<laughs> is this still just music for you? Because from the house, people thought you were going to do some Nollywood. Oh, but it looks yeah. like music is still oh, your main focus. Music is like, uh, you know, a main thing for me. Yeah, some part of me. I just did my first, that's a cinema movie. I think that's a Netflix standard. And um, I think they're still on set, you know, the final part. So I, I, I myself, Pet Odeche, Jackie Apia, Destiny Etiko, Blossom Chukura, oh, nice. um, um, Kiki, the standard movie. So it was my first you know, big movie, and I played the role of Richard in the movie. Very, very, very interesting story. The fight scene, epic. <laughs> so 2022 is for music ah, and movies. 2022 is for entertainment. Anything. <laughs> then for February, I will start shooting skits with all the skit makers who have been, blah, 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 I've already said, okay, 20, everything that has to do with the camera, I'm involved. So I've been the one pushing because of my time, but in February, yeah. we start doing everything. Awesome. Yes, sir. So before you go now, explain this Liberia thing to us. Because we, <laughs> um, we've heard so many stories. You're yeah, honorary senator, they gave you car, they didn't give you car, you, it was a picture. I don't know. What happened there? Well, it was the grace of God that happened there, you know, making me an honorary senator, you know, you know, the car and everything. It was like magic. It was like, is this happening? It's like, you know. But I didn't see it coming. So I just want to understand, you got to Liberia? I didn't really get to Liberia once like that. We've been in talks with being, okay. I've been on, on so the So by the government? Looking, by the government now. Made you an honorary senator Buam. of the Republic of Liberia Buam. and gave you a car. Buam. Where's the car? It didn't. So you use it when you go there? Buam. That, that's okay. like my second home now. How long does this senate, senatorship last? Uh, it <laughs> Is it a lifetime? <laughs> Oh, that no. one, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but man, I, I hope it's going to last. It's going to transcend to the next generation because I intend to do a lot of good stuff for the Liberian yeah. people. They are very amazing people. They, they hosted me very well. You know, gave me everything I needed practically. And they paid me in dollars. <laughs> That's the most interesting That's very part. Interesting. In so is there politics in your life here? Ah, um, the way my life is going, uh, I don't know. And I don't know. not like to you because, hi. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. My brain is broadened. My mind is broadened. And uh, let's see how the thing goes. They say you're natural. I said, okay, but let's see how it goes. You understand? <laughs> well, I mean, I won't be surprised, but um, <laughs> good luck with everything, man. So let's just recap. February 18th, you said? Yes. Remix of Selense. Drop. June, your EP is coming out. Inshallah. You also have a movie in the works. Yes. Kids are starting in February. By God's grace. We have a very busy year. Yes. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Money. Thank you. And all the best with 2020. The kitchen is coming, too. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, there's food. Yeah, it's coming. Was, ah, it's coming. Very important. It's because coming. we're seeing the soup from the TV, but it's we didn't know what it tasted like. <laughs> it's coming. So it's about time. Thank thanks you. Thanks for being here today. Thank you so much. Really. Well, thanks for joining us. Like I always say, you can follow the conversation on Twitter at Robin Minds Now is our handle. I'll see you next Sunday. <laughs> say, hey, hey.